Originally, another model was supposed to open the show, but she got too nervous. That's why they replaced her with you. She's sitting over there. The makeup artist pointed discreetly to the right, indicating where the anxious young girl in her early 20s sat. Emma glanced at the model, but didn't recognize her. She changed into her attire and waited quietly in her chair, observing herself in the mirror. This show is a big opportunity for me to secure an impressive portfolio before auditioning for H-World. It'll determine if I can surpass the creative century and star age and position myself above them. Not too far from Emma, a young model glared at her with pure hatred. The opening wasn't something she was willing to give up. She felt Emma had stolen the opportunity from her. Who does she think she is, stealing someone else's job? She's just a model from a smaller company. Behind that young model stood her manager, a woman sporting black framed glasses. Her arms were folded and her stern gaze was fixed on Emma. She knew Emma had tactics to secure her desires. Emma's so outdated. I'm sure someone like her couldn't have achieved so much success and defeated Amber without any help. How could an outdated model like her secure a place at Luxury's opening show? It's because of George Benedict. He holds significant influence. But as Emma's popularity rises, she can't advance solely by currying favor with influential figures anymore, unless she wants to tarnish her reputation. If she does that, she might as well continue associating with Nathan and Amber. Just then, the show began with the sound of retro music. As the first model on stage, Emma instantly became the center of attention. Her professionalism, her charm, and her style held the show together, a show that was otherwise filled with new, unknown models. Her presence also opened the international media's eyes to the unlimited possibilities of American model. On the runway, no one could compete with Emma's radiance. She was totally dazzling. I can't believe this beautiful woman is my wife. George was sitting next to Eric, along with TTQ's photographer, who was snapping away on the camera. The scene on stage was absolutely perfect. Everyone in the audience was amazed by Emma's performance. After the models took their bows and left the runway, George headed backstage to congratulate Emma. Emma, you're the best. Thank you, Mr. Benedict. I'm already looking forward to TTQ's October edition. After talking to George, Emma went to the dressing room where Lisa helped her with the costumes. Emma was ready to hit the streets of Paris with Eric and take a romantic stroll. But just as they were about to leave the venue, Lisa received a phone call from Global. Emma, the articles highlight that the continuous fights between Amber and you ended up defaming her. While you have continued to advance in your career, they suggest it's not due to your strategies, but rather the support from more influential men backing you up. Especially when compared to Amber. There's even a mention of Star Age and George in one of the articles. Despite the chaos, Emma's loyal fans took to social media, sharing videos from her shows and pictures from her magazine shoots to defend her. They aimed to prove that her success was solely due to her talent and hard work. However, amidst the support, some detractors emerged. They labeled Emma as intimidatingly smart and warned others about potential deceitful strategies. In essence, the internet became a battleground of opinions and chaos. How is being smart a bad thing? I really have to hand it to these people. Emma glanced at the comments and laughed. After casually disguising herself, she and Lisa headed out to the parking lot and got into Eric's car. It seems like the attention on you is growing, and that means you might encounter more challenges and criticism. As your popularity rises, so do the attempts to undermine you. When there's competition, some resort to plotting and scheming. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Of course. It's just that this time Amber was given another chance to insult me. She knew it was best not to respond to Amber's accusations. She knew the more she tried to explain herself, the more it would seem like she was hiding something. Since someone was helping her gain exposure, she might as well accept it. It was the truth after all. You don't want to contain this? Lisa's gaze was fixed on Emma, yet her question was directed at Eric. However, Eric and Emma had an understanding. He had already breached his promise during the Mia incident, and presently, he lacked a compelling reason to do so again. Lisa, don't forget that Global is still my management agency. Okay, you guys have fun. I'll keep an eye on the situation in New York. Help me reassure the fans. Tell them I haven't been affected. Back in New York, Amber and Nathan were at the office watching the news about Emma pour in. After being pressured by Nathan, Amber had agreed to keep their child. Of course, she only did this to buy time for herself. I told you before, there was no way Emma could be that pure. <laughs> now that she's been exposed, will you help her? Or will you take the opportunity to step on her even harder? Shut up! 
Nathan had grown wary of Amber after their encounter. He had contemplated reconciling with Emma, but the sight of her with Star Age's CEO and George Benedict turned his heart cold. While Amber disgusted him, Emma wasn't any better. It seemed he couldn't place his trust in either of them. If you don't get PR to help her, then I won't be able to resist defaming her. It wasn't easy to get this chance. Maybe it's not a bad idea to let Amber break Emma's spirit a little. Gary, leak some information for me. At the magazine shoot in Mexico, Emma didn't make use of the organizer's living arrangements. Instead, she was fooling around with an unknown man and went to stay with him. Now is the perfect time to release this information, but be careful not to let anyone know you did it. Nathan was so revolted by Amber that he found it difficult to look at her. Of course, he failed to realize that he was just as deplorable as she was. Emma slipped into a bohemian-style maxi dress, finding solace on the yacht's deck beside Eric, clad in a relaxed white suit. He held her close in an embrace, observing her with concern. Initially, he presumed she was putting on a brave front, yet as he gazed upon her, Eric noticed a sincere calmness in Emma, as though she had shed her identity as a model completely. Do you really not want to go home first? Why do we need to leave so soon? Mr. Roberts, did you think I would just give up on the vacation I made you work so hard for? My career is important, but right now, you are more important. Don't feel burdened. Have faith in me. I will find a solution. The couple indulged in a passionate moment as their bodies wrapped around each other against the beautiful scenery of the same river. In that moment, the king of the entertainment industry and the outdated model no longer existed. They were simply a husband and wife, strolling through the streets of France hand in hand. Eric reached out his hand and stroked Emma's wet hair, bringing her head closer to his. Let's return tomorrow. Huh? Why? One day is enough for me. I know what kind of situation you're in. And since you won't let me interfere, I'm really worried about you. Miss Miller, don't you know I'm a fan of yours? Emma had earned her status in the industry, so it was important to him that she didn't lose it. She had worked so hard and given so much of herself to reach this point in her career, and he didn't want her to let it go to waste. You know what they say, the number of people who like you is always equal to the number of people who hate you. For each person who adores you, there's another one who wants to see you get humiliated. Eric, I'm well aware of how this works. He hugged her tightly without saying a word. Later, after she had fallen asleep, he got up to call Luke. Have you found out who released the information? It was H-World's manager. Ariadne Clark Sanders. Her younger sister is the H-World model who was originally invited to walk in the luxury show, but she was replaced with Miss Miller. Then, Global aggravated the situation by spreading some false rumors. Since it's H-World, we'll leave it be for now. As for Global, their days are numbered. Eric is definitely up to something. What is he going to do to Global? How will this news impact Emma's chances with the H-World? Will Amber succeed in her sinister ambitions? To find out what happens next. Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.